Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. I make wire art and jewelry making videos on my channel as well as weekly live streams troubleshooting new designs. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make this cute little doggy using the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. So what you're going to need for this project are your basic tools, the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit with the pegs and the little plugs that go on the back. I also use a nail because it's a little thinner than the actual pegs. I have 20 gauge wire. I'm using aluminum this time. You could also use artistic copper wire. And I have these templates printed out. So you're welcome to take a screenshot of those templates now. And I also offer them for sale in my shop. I'll link it up below. So I'm gonna start at the top and what you always wanna do is make sure that you put a little plug on the back so that they're nice and solid. And then let's go down and count for the ears. So we go down one, two and across one, one, two and across one and put the plug on the back and then we'll just continue putting the pegs where I have it marked. So just always be careful to follow the plan because it's very easy to kind of get distracted and put it in the wrong hole. So we're going to go across and one, two. And if you want to look at the live stream, I'll link it up below to where I worked on the do dog design last week. So here's the finished setup for the dog. And you'll see just these two are sort of the second to smallest pegs. The rest are the small pegs and then the second to largest peg there all from the artistic wire kit. So I cut a piece of wire that's quite long. It's uh, about two feet long, but it's probably too long, but I always like to cut it too long than too short. So we're gonna start with the eye. We're gonna just wrap it around here for the eye. And then what we wanna do is actually use a nail just to stick it in the peg beside there and just give it a little bend. And that just gives the nose like a little bit of shape. And so then this is gonna go above here and this will actually will come down and form the ear. So we're gonna do that and just leave that like that for now. And then we're going to form the muzzle. So we're just gonna go in like that. Okay, bend it up. I also like to bend it a little further than the peg just to be sure it gives a nice clean bend. Bring this down a little further and then around these ones, okay. And then the legs where they attach to the body. And then around here, bend it a little past again. And then what we're going to do up here is just bend this sort of out a bit. And then I just put a nail in here because the pegs are a little thick. So the nail is a little thinner. So it's always good to use nails or pins just as a little extra, uh, you know, a little extra help there. So we're gonna put that one down there and then bend it here. And then you'll see we already have the shape of the dog. And so what I wanna do is just put my finger here and bend it up where we're going to form the collar. And then this one comes down here. And you could even go ahead and just like bend this around right now, okay, around there. And then that's complete. So we're gonna remove it from the jig, okay. Cute little doggy. And then we want to clip this end. So we'll just clip it off. And if you want just the wire, you can do that. Or if you want to put some beads on it, see, he kind of looks like this. So if you want to put some beads on it, just bring this down and bend that around like that. And then you can put a few beads on the collar there. So let's go ahead and put some of my favorite beads, which are these miracle beads. Uh, you guys know I love these beads. I use them a lot. This is the four millimeter size, but if you don't have miracle beads, uh, you could even go for a larger size, six if you wanted, but that's cute like that. So the little collar, and then we're just going to bend it around here. And then like I did in the live stream, I actually, um, you could cut it off there, or if you prefer to make like a little loop, so you want to dangle a little bell or a little dog, um, what do you call those? Just a little, the little uh, tag, I guess, the dog tag hanging down, you could do that too, or a little heart bead would be cute. So there is the little dog, and if you need to, if he's bent a bit, you need to straighten him out, you can just straighten him out a little bit. There, you can hang him probably from the ear. 
So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire art creations, be sure to join the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, where we share photos and inspiration. And if you don't have Facebook, no problem. You could email photos to info at heathervoidwire.com and I'll share them in the community section of my channel. And if you'd like to check out our wire art and jewelry on Etsy, we have a shop where we make custom wire jewelry and wedding cake toppers. If you'd like to learn some more specialized techniques for wire art and jewelry, I offer an online course where I have modules about making flattened wire for bookmarks and also making spiral beads for necklaces and earrings and also how to make a special kind of tree where you weave the wires together. So there's also a module about how to make your own jig and that one comes with all the templates for the designs I've made so far including the ones made with the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit or if you prefer just to purchase the templates I have a link for that below as well. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.